taking out enemy barracks, blowing up ammunition depots, and attacking command centers, these are just a few of the jobs carried out by HIMARS in Ukraine. The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System is a peach. It has shown the Russians that it is a weapon to fear. HIMARS has made the Ukrainian autumn counteroffensive in 2022 a success and it has worked to create violent action against the occupiers. A video has appeared online that claims to show Ukraine's HIMARS strike on a Russian military train. The footage captures the moment Ukrainian forces reportedly destroyed a 40-carriage train carrying Russian troops and essential ammunition. It was reported that the Ukrainian army attacked a train at the Relivka train station. Is now making rounds on social media, prompting many to assert that it was another major setback for the Russian military. Explosions can be seen in the video as the critical ammunition on board is destroyed a large number of rockets or missiles unleashed from the train before exploding. As a result of a Ukrainian strike against a Russian ammunition train, in Kirsten Oblast southern Ukraine it is implausible. The rail link connecting Kirsten with Crimea remains operational the assessment noted. The UK's MOD added that Russian forces would probably fix the railway line in a few days, but it would still threaten Putin's forces and the logistical supply route from Crimea to Kherson. Eventually multiple explosions cause enormous blazing orange flames and thick smoke plumes to fill the pitch black night sky. A video of the incident was shared by a Twitter user who is a key based independent foreign policy or security analyst. The footage allegedly depicts the HIMARS strike on a Russian logistics train at Brelovka railway station. Ukrainian media outlets also claim that a high-precision HIMARS strike destroyed a 40-wagon train traveling from Crimea to the railway station in the Kherson region carrying personnel equipment and ammunition. According to Ukrainian journalist Denis Kazansky, the explosions were so strong that windows were shattered in nearby buildings Anton Jerichenko. Conventional artillery strikes also targeted Russian artillery sites that reduced the occupier's ability to create counter-battery fire that could have threatened HIMARS. The Ukrainians also used HIMARS to shape the battlefield before the counteroffensive began. Russia's rear lines were vulnerable to this attack. With HIMARS, Ukraine was able to take back Kherson and Kharkiv. The advisor to the Minister of Internal Affairs also confirmed the incident he wrote on Facebook, that the strike had turned the occupiers' manpower into coals and their equipment into piles of scrap metal. According to an assessment from the UK's MOD the damage will remain a vulnerability for Russian forces and the logistical resupply route from Crimea into Kherson. Ukraine has achieved some impressive battlefield victories over the Russian army. In the last few weeks, owing to HIMARS an acronym for M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, the Antonisky Bridge over the Dnipro River in the east of Kirsten was also recently targeted by key forces using HIMARS. The HIMARS system which has a range of about 80 kilometers has inflicted significant damage to the Russian army across. The battlefield saw the arrival of four more units of the weapon systems bringing the number of HIMARS under Ukrainian control to 20. The US approved the shipment of additional HIMARS ammunition and Germany sent three similar rocket systems with a 70 km range five years using HIMARS. The Ukrainians have prevented Russian forces from replenishing and cursing and have destroyed weapons depots. Denying them the advantage in firepower the United States officials in Ukraine have lauded the efficiency of rocket launchers in the conflict that started on February 24. However, the US and Russia have provided conflicting information regarding whether any rocket launchers have been destroyed. The Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman U.S. General Mark Milley, stated at a news conference on July 20, that Russia had eliminated no HIMARS at that point. 
To date those systems have not been eliminated by the Russians and I knock on wood. Every time I say something like that Milly said and their Ukrainians are very effective at using them employing precision weapons against targets. Over the past few days, the Twitter sphere has been expounding on the impact that several HIMARS rocket artillery systems are having in Ukraine. Systems have provided the Ukrainian armed forces with a new longhand, with which to attack the Russian invaders however some perspective is required before expectations. For their impact get too overblown there is no such thing as a silver bullet solution in war. Lieutenant General Igor Konashenkov a spokesperson for the Russian Defense Ministry claimed that over two weeks Russia's army had damaged four HIMARS supplied by the United States and Ukraine. Lieutenant General Igor Kondashenkov declared that a total of six HIMARS had been destroyed in Ukraine. The Pentagon later refuted these allegations stating that none of the American supplied HIMARS in Ukraine had been destroyed by Russia. HIMARS changed the war, but Russia has adjusted its logistical practices. Russia is fearful of the system as it has forced the occupiers to react on its heels instead of moving forward with their own offensive operations. The next weapon the Ukrainians need is Atoms, which would elongate the range of aerial attacks.